So Nancy, did you get a chance to look at this third article that I sent I did, Shannon, and I have to admit this article, which is from Autism Parenting, um, was a little dense yes. for me to get through. Um, yes. It's called The Pathophysiology of Autism Unpacked, and it's written by a BA, BFC, um, and it goes into the physiology of autism which is interesting. I would recommend that everybody look this up and read it. Um, I can't say that I will be the best at uh, unpacking the article. <laughs> yeah, I would say too, um, uh, same thing. You know, it's pretty dense. and But I think if you read it and go through it, you'll see there are several different parts of it and you'll see a part that responds to, that corresponds to what you're thinking or going through that will interest you. And then, then you can take a look. I think you're going to have to sit there a little bit with a dictionary and go through to understand what's being said. Um, and maybe this is an article that we can have our research people finish unpacking for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because I, I love this article. I, you know, how, how much would we have killed for this article when our kids were four? Right. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would have been like, thank you. Cause I was always saying, what is it? What is the difference? What's happening? And back then people used to say to me, well, we think it's that the brain suddenly grows and that your, your child has long distance service before they're supposed to, but they don't have local service. And I was like, what? I don't really understand. Yeah. I, I really loved the explanation they get, they gave of synaptic pruning in yes, this article. That's under, it, what the article does is it breaks down into categories, uh, the physiological uh, point of view. And the first one is dysfunction of neural functions. And that's where it has the analogy of pruning, as you said, Shannon. Yeah, and, I, and I, that I sort of got in a different way than I've gotten before. But there are many other things. If you have a child who has Rett syndrome, there's a section of this that you absolutely have to read. Um, and... You know, I also love that they broke down the theory of mind and the broken mirror theory, which I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around. Um, so, because uh, the theory of mind, I understand. I'm not sure that I understand the, the broken mirror theory, but um, I just thought it was fascinating. You guys can find it in Autism Parent Magazine. You can go to autismparentmagazine.com. They, um, they have a thing where you can sign up to get a free magazine to try it and see if you like it. It's not a book. It's actually an article. And the, and the article, again, is appearing in this month's Autism Parenting Magazine. And the author is Andreas uh, Diolinda. Diolinda. Uh -huh. And um, so you can uh, check that out. I think it's a, a, a very fascinating read. So that's our news for today. Are, are you guys still able to see me? Because my feed is stuck on my picture. Yeah. On, okay. I well, that, uh, I don't know what is happening with my internet and I apologize to the world, but we've got a great guest that's here for us today and he's been on the show before. Um, I'm Cause we just have two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take Nisa's question. Question off topic. Um, what do you suggest for working adults on the spectrum under the disabled label to do for the right to work for more than the allotted 18 hours? You know, it's interesting that you should ask that because we have a guest that's coming up um, sometime in the next two weeks, I hope, that is someone who is an expert in knowing your rights. My assumption, Nancy, with this question is that the reason why they can't work more than 18 hours is that they would lose some sort of benefits. Can you write back and tell us if that is the thing that you're worried about? Because there is a new thing, there is a new policy that's called paid, uh, a paid Medicaid waiver, where if you are working and don't want to lose your benefits because you are disabled, um, if you have a disabled uh, designation, you can pay for, and I know, to hold, hold on, don't go away, because I know you're like, I don't want to pay for something. Um, you can pay to buy in to Medicaid. It's the Medicaid buy-in program. And here's the crazy part. If you are working, and this is the reason why you're doing it, sometimes it's as inexpensive as $2 a month. It's like crazy inexpensive to be able to buy because they don't want to penalize you for working. 
if you aren't working and you want to buy into it, then it's substantially more, which sounds counterintuitive because why would you charge someone who's unemployed more than you would charge somebody who's working? And it's the, the program is specifically for people who are working and don't want to lose their benefits um, so that they don't have to prevent themselves from having a career. And so they wanted to make sure that it rewarded that and didn't get you know, kerfuffled and used for something else. So you would check with your state. Different states are bringing it online in different method, at different times. I know that Colorado, it's already up and running. I know that Texas, it's in motion, but I don't know that it's already there. But is that the issue? And they, I think they said yes. Um, so, and you want the author of this uh, article. I'm going to put it in the chat. So, it, um, Nancy, is that... Uh, is there anything that you wanted to add to that? No, I don't think so. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't, I, sometimes on this format, I have the tendency to over talk and I, I, I talk over people and I hate that when somebody does that to me. So I don't want to do that to you. All right. So thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. Here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.